Shalom, everybody. We're continuing the Maimir Pasha Shmini. We had a very fascinating Maimir in the beginning of Pasha Tzav, speaking about the Livyoson and the Sheir Habor, how the Nunashomis will eat the Livyoson and the Sheir Habor, and through that, they will elevate us. Today, we have a Maimir Pasha Shmini. A fascinating Maimir who explains the Kinigi, the circus that there'll be between the Levios and Sheir Abor, will try to kill each other. What the concept is. Says the Maimir, Levios and Zayitzar Talosachik, but he says the Medrash and this and Pasha Shmini, I'm this Pasha in Tehillim, that there's Behemis and Levios and there'll be a fascinating kiniga, fascinating circus. Where Moshiach will come and the behema will be noited. He will gore the Levyosim with his horns and kill the Levyosim. And the Levyosim will kill the behemoth with the Sampirov, with his fins, he will shecht it. The Levyosim will shech the wild Sheir Abor. And then there'll be a massive party. Asks the Medrash, V'loikach t'ninon. It says, Amishne m'sech eschulun. That it's not a kosher eschita with the fins. Because it says, Chutz mimagel kotzi. That if it's a suckle that has kotz in it, that has pegimois, it's not a kosher eschita. Answers the Gemara, sorry, the Medrash says, Aposik, Tera Chadosha, there'll be a new Tera, and that Tera will permit and make that Shita Kosha. And then Abishta will permit it because Behemois is. Yeah. Behemois is the Shira born. Okay. The Alter Rebbe is going to explain what is this Kinigi, what is this machle, what is this circus, Eliyosun Shirabot. What is the deeper meaning? So the Alter Rebbe explains that there's two types of tzaddikim. There's the Vyosun type of tzaddikim, and there's Shirabot type of tzaddikim. Livyos on the fish is those sadikim that are besaysen. They're hidden. They do have the beruchnius mostly. Yachid yichudim al yenim. Like Rabshim and many Rabbi Yichoi, while he was in the cave for 13 years, he couldn't do physical mitzvahs. Because they only had one boxer and a live stream of water. That was created, so he didn't eat matzah and pesach. He didn't make it a shrine and wine. He didn't have, have an esrig and he didn't have a sukkah. And that is, I was also on this level of Livyos, a very high tzaddik, higher than this world. And he brings in for the Tzemach Tzedek. It says, V'yid gulorei b'ker of horetz. That malochim are also called then the, on that level. They're malochim. The malochim are higher than the world. So, in essence, these tzaddikim says an amayim from the uh, from the from, from the Alter Rebbe elsewhere. It's also the Baal Shem Tov then there's Sadiqim that are revealed. They do in the world, they do physical mitzvahs. Shamach to Bechagecha, they bring down godliness to the world. Simcha is Gilead. And say, Borucho. And this Hamshoch, it comes after with mitzvahs, Maisias. Like it says, Ein Simcha lo Bibosar. You have to bring Shalmi Simcha. And we have Ein Simcha lo Biyayi. Because today we don't have the Shalmi simple, we don't have the Korbanos. 
Pesach, you bring them shach to eating physical mats. Shvuas through mat and teir and sukkas through sukkah and lulavim. And without it, you can't. But Rab Shimon Baichoy says here in the brackets, it's a matzadek. Rab Shimon Baichoy was living awesome, brought down all these things through Ibiruchnis. Says the Alter Rebbe, Behemes, you cannot lahagia. Alter Rebbe touches up on the reading. You cannot touch godliness through physical. Only through the spiritual avoid in the yama, just like a fish. The water covers on them from Alma discussion. Every day there's sadikim that are hidden, and they connect this world with the infinite. Like it says by David Amalek. David would connect the spiritual world. Connecting the Abishter with the world. Says I go a footnote from the Tzemar Tzedek. This is what it says that the fourth group of three hours the Abishter plays with the Livyos and he gets time from them. And this is connected these last three hours, these last couple of hours from three o'clock to six o'clock. Is the time of Mincha and Yitzchok made Mincha that God gets great pleasure from this Sadiqim. So he says, it's explained elsewhere, says the Tzemar Tzedek, says in Gimore, the difference between Pasha Shema. And the whole Yom Shomeya, the whole Yom Shomeya is called they're not doing the Tzoyin Shomokim fully. So it doesn't say Bechol may definitely know the true concept of Mesir Snefesh. So what does it mean a sin and Tzoyin Shomokim to bring down from the level of Satan of Um Emale? This you need Mesir Snefesh. And these are these greater Tzadikim, but without Bechol may Dechon. You don't have this great connection of Sayyidina Kalam to Malik Olamin, so it's not called a Sayyidina Shomokim. And it brings a fascinating Gemara. That Mishachor, Abis Amigdash, there's no Shrek. There's no laughter, Lamaila, there's no, because you don't have these great Sadiqim, as much as you had them before the Korban Beis Amigdash. And it's explained in Kisvi Arizal. That through Tero Mitzvahs, you bring you bring a Yichud Zun, a connection of Zoh and Malchus, but to bring down Abba Ve'ima, to bring a Yichud of Chochmah Bina, that's a total new Amshach of Godliness, is Dafka through Mesiris Nefesh. It is connected with Krishna. And who does this Aved of ultimate Mesiris Nefesh? Dafka. That they can, they have total mysterious nefesh be'echod, and they make yilove ishi elai. Also, to understand the aveda ruchnis of these nishomis that are livyosa, we can understand it from Allah and Shulchan Aruch. Says Allah and Shulchan Aruch about davani. Now, what's the ultimate davani? That you totally forget about yourself. And you just think about the Ebishtha. You remove any thought from your mind. And the Shulchan Aruch says that it's like Anovi. That means that he has his spash, the Sagashmis. These Sadiqim that are Livyosa, that are Nuneyama, have totally spash the Sagashmis. Gashmis doesn't take by them a, a, a place. They're totally connected with the Ebishtha. That's why they're like Naveen, and they great, get great visions from above. It says in Priyitz Chaim about the Arizal. Arizal was sitting Parshas Kukas Bolo. While he was sitting at the table, his lips was moving. So his students try to listen. What's the Arizal say? The Arizal said, if I have to tell you what I just saw, it could take me 80 years and I still wouldn't finish to be able to explain you what I witnessed. So they're high, they're higher. 
they are very high level, these Nunayam. And they connect the spiritual worlds with our world, and they have true Mesidus Nefesh. And that's why it says, it says, Agimore, that when the Beis Amik, that's where the soul, there's no laughter, the my law. So why does the Abish to do? When there's no more such a show, as Livyoson, he teaches and learns with young children, Tate. Till here is that goes at Samachar. So we see from here the greatness of the Nunayama. They are the ultimate. But says since we have a, a physical world, we need Sadiqim that are like the Shera Bor. They're in the world and they do physical mitzvahs. And this is what it says, the Gemore, that every generation has a tzad. That on him the world stands. But it says every animal on, the, on, the, on, on our land has a copy in the ocean. You have a cat and you have a catfish. Every animal, I think one or two animals don't have their counterparts in the Ocean. What is the Alter Rebbe saying, Pshat? Why does, is there a counterpart? Because you need Nune Yama, the Shamas from Amadi, Skashi, amazing the Shamas. But you also need the Shamas and the Yabosha. The Alter Rebbe continues, because it's Sadiqim that are called Nune Yama, amazing. And they go just like fish with one movement. They can go very far. And they're high than the tzaddikim that have happiness from a stake. They go like a dog that comes from one end of the world to the other. With one shape, he says, with one movement. They go very high. And it's not like the tzaddikim that are very excited and hot-blooded. That are connected with Simcha, with Bosa, Simcha, with Yayin, with Rishpesh, and Shalheves. They're very cool. They're very calm. And with one movement, they reach very high. Says the Alter Rebbe, I can't explain this with words about these great Neshamis. But therefore, Abshim Echoi, while he was in the cave for 13 years, didn't eat steak on Yom Tif. And this is what the, the pshat, the levyosa will make. He has his fins. They're called flush feathering, okay? That with them you fly. And that's why the levyosa, the whole world stands on the levyosa. Like it says in Chazal, that the levyosa surrounds the entire globe. What does this mean? That it's so big, it also means the whole world stands on such tzaddikim. Like we said before, the Alter Rebbe brings Amud Echod Tzadik Shmei Shalova Olam Oymed. So now we know what the Levyosin is and what the Sheir Abon is. Levyosin is the great tzaddik, and the Sheir Abon is the lower tzaddikim that have to elevate the world. They have to make two types of tzaddikim. What will be the melchom of the Levyosin and Shir Abor? And the Levyosin will shecht it. Will shecht the Shir Abor. He explains. Tadikim on the lower level are called Shir Abor. Shir Abor comes from the Shir Measmel in the Merkova, from the left of the Merkova, from the face of the ox. Why is it called Sheir Abor? We know Sheir Abor means the wild ox. al Rebbe here gives a different shot. Sheir Abor is, he's a Sheir, but he's bar v'zach. He's refined. Even though he eats steaks and drinks wine on Yom Tev, he doesn't enjoy the steaks. His stomach should enjoy it. He elevates it. He's happy. He's happy with the Rebishter. 
and we say the Yismuchu Bechol, which is rejoice with God, the Beis Hamikdash. There was a happiness with Hashem. This is what he has. We call it Sheir Abor from Baalei Vol. He's a pure man. He has Simcha and Hashem excitement, but it's Mil Sezutrisa. It's a low level compared to the Hiluch of the Tzadikim Kalt of Yos. Because the Hiluch of the Tzadik comes from the physical world. But their Hiluch of the Liv Yoson is with one shake of his scale, uh, fins, he goes around the world. It's infinity. So the, what does it mean of Yosem will shech the Sherabar? He'll elevate him through the fins. That they will be elevated to the level of the Liv Yosem. That's the Shechita. And the Alter Rebbe said, Sheir Abor will elevate the Liv Yosem. Because in a sense, the avoid of the Sheir Abor is greater, even if it's Gashmis. But it's changing the world. It's changing the world because this is what Tata wants. So, Mitzah de Kavonev, changing the world, the Sheir Abor is greater. So he will elevate him. And this is what the Abid, what the Livyos and the Sheir Abor is. That the Abishra will allow Tzadikim, when Mashiach will come, they will watch and they will see that they're both necessary and only together can they do their Avoida. And this is what they'll watch. Because in one point, the Livyosan is greater, he's a much greater Tzadik. But in another point, the Sherabur is greater and changing the world. It says that Samach Tzedek in the Hagol, Sherabur, why is it called Sherabur? It's a draft for his bikia share. They elevate their share. They elevate the world. Another explanation why they're called share are born. Because they're like Yesuf at Sadiq that was called Pher Shere Oderlai. So since Yesuf is called at Sadiq, so that's why it's called share. This is the Tzema Tzadik. Go for the Altarev in the mind. Now, the Rebbe is going to explain we asked in the beginning of the why such a shechita if the sakin has cracks in it, it's a posel of shechita. Why the Levios and shechita to share our is a kosher of shechita? Says the Alter Rebbe, even though now it's a posel of shechita, but you're elevating the Sheir Abor should be on the level of Yosan. Taking simple people, making them like that, he's out. That takes time. It can't be in one shot. There's many levels. They have to go slowly from one level to the other level. That's why Abish will say that the Shrit is allowed to elevate us slowly. And then the Sheir Abor will elevate the Liv Yosan. Through getting him in the horns. Okay. So here's the Maime. There's great discussion on this Maime. Does this mean that there won't be a physical of Yos and Shin Abor according to the Alter Rebbe and the Maime? It's going to be physical of Yosun and Sherabor, like Kishon Brocho. 
there's many Rishonim uh, that say that Lo Yosef Shirabon is a Ruchnistic Suda. And many that say it's a physical Suda. The Alter Rebbe is here explaining what's the spiritual. The spiritual is the, the circus will be we will watch our Avoida and see that we're all necessary. And we will elevate each other. Everyone's advantage will share with each other and we'll all become elevated together. And Kal Yisro will become one. May it be soon in our days.